Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My word is filled with stories of people who experience new beginnings. That's right, my child. I want a new beginning for you as you start this new month. My servant Moses became a leader after being a shepherd for 40 years. My apostle Paul hated me until I appeared to him and struck him off his horse on the road to Damascus to renew his mind, to make him a servant to reach the unreached. Nothing is impossible for me, my child. Maybe today you feel like you've made the biggest mistake of your life. Maybe you feel like you were too old, too far gone, or too far off track. Just know that nothing you've done, no mistake that you've made or ever will make is a surprise to me. I am working things behind the scenes to work in your favor. Yes, I'll arrange a comeback for every setback and my grace is enough for every one of your weaknesses. I have mercy for every failure that you have ever made. Nothing is certain on this earth, my child, for a minute can change your whole life, but your comfort is only found in me and the hope that new beginning awaits you each time you repent to me of your failures and sins. My mercy is new every morning, my child, so come back to me in repentance today. Each day is a new beginning with possibilities never ending, my child. Hope awaits all on the horizon of my beauty and all who gaze upon me, their life shall be brightened and enlighten. Yes, a new chance for a new way each and every day. Just as the seed sprouts forth to grow, so will I do a new thing in your life. Just keep the faith in me, knowing it is never too late, for the future may be found safe and you will survive it unscathed. You have to let go of the past today, as change is what will always last and there is nothing left to fear anymore, my child. For through death always hovers and may hover over you, near you. I am with you to protect you. I will strengthen you to get through this time and my hope is a promised game and only my forgiveness can remove your guilt and shame. Trust me, for I have you covered. I know know where you are and where you are going. Those obstacles that look like they are never going to change, you better get ready for this is a new day and I am breaking the chains that have held you back. You are going to see increase within this new month. You are going to see restoration, healing and breakthrough as you continue to look unto me in all your ways. When I present you with a new beginning. Don't make the mistake to repeat the same old mistakes, my child. Sometimes the smaller steps in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. Even tippy-toe if you must, but take the first steps of righteousness today. Whatever struggles that you are currently facing, remember that I am with you. That's right. Whatever struggles that you have, remember but they are just temporary, my child. You might have turned your back from me because you feel like I was being unfair. You might feel like you do not deserve all the pain and suffering that you're going through. But trust me, everything happens for a greater purpose and your suffering will make you stronger and better in life. For have I not said, I will use all things for my glory for those who love me and are called according to my purpose. Remember, real friends are hard to find, but you can always find a friend in me. Nevertheless, I will send you friends that are closer than a brother and closer than a sister, and you shall be blessed to have 
such real friends who stay with you in the darkest days. Rejoice with those that are with you already. Those people who will not judge you for who you are, but rather for who I am and what I am doing and will be there for you when you need them the most. Learn to love yourself also, my child, as you do not be so busy loving other people that you tend to forget loving yourself. As you love yourself, you also love the one that created you. Always make it a habit to spend time alone with me that you may get to understand who you really are. That's right. As you get to know me more, you'll understand who you really are and you will get to admire my creation. Learn to love everything about you. Then then as you start to see me in each area of your life, you will start to change whatever is not pleasing to me. Learn to love your family more for people might turn their back on you, but the family I will give you will forever stick with you. They are your best confident cheerleader and supporter. Spare some time for them. Make them a priority. Make them feel valued. Apologize for all the mistakes that you have made. For in the darkest days, they are the ones who will be there encouraging and lifting up your spirit. Do not lose hope in life because everything will be okay, my child. In your struggles day to day, you have to trust my will. You might not comprehend the reason for now, but soon enough it will make sense. I am only preparing you for something glorious to happen in your life as you trust me. Every curse that has been issued against your life, against you, your family, your home shall not prosper, but every arrow by night shall be cast down today. Life is not a test or about being the best, but take each day, one day at a time, letting go of every single past mistake, releasing those past sins to give way for new beginnings. Most of your worries dwell in your mind, so learn to cast your cares upon me and rebuke all wrong thinking. Learn to live each day as it might be your last for time is fleeting by so you only have a short time and it's very fast and no one is promised tomorrow as you remain faithful in me in righteousness I have promised to see that my word is fulfilled have I not said for you have seen well for I will hasten my word to perform it this day Shalom Praise the Lord, precious saints. When we receive Jesus as our Savior, it is the ultimate new beginning. We become new creatures with an opportunity to learn a new way of living. But the first step to experience that new life is believing that it's available to you. Ephesians 4.23 says, We must be constantly renewed in our minds and our attitudes. It's easy to read about great people in the Bible and think that you are nothing like them. But when you start to think that you need to renew your mind right away, choose to think according to God's word, not how you feel, but receive his love and experiencing a new beginning, life will become so much sweeter if you live with an attitude that says God is completely changing me from the inside out. He's giving me a new beginning and there are greater things ahead. Ephesians 4.23 says, and it will be renewed in the spirit of your minds. Hallelujah. Pray. We must learn to pray. Lord, we renew our minds in you. We know that you are a new beginning and you've given us a new beginning and a calling for us just like those of old that have gone before us. Lord, we pray today. You are good. You are holy. You are perfect in all your ways. Your love is beyond anything that we could ever find or great 
get anywhere else in this life. You designed and created us before the foundation of the world and your plans for us are good to give us hope and a future according to Jeremiah 29 and 11. Today, we look to the future, to this new month, and we choose to trust in your promises. We choose to take action right now in this moment by faith. We choose hope even when we feel hopeless because your word says that it is an anchor for our souls according to Hebrews 6 verse 19. It lifts us up according to Psalm 43 verse 5 and causes us to rest in safety according to Job 11 18. We choose to abide in your presence where there is fullness of joy according to Psalm 16 verse Verse 11. We trust that no matter what we are facing, you will bestow upon us a crown of beauty according to Isaiah 61 verse 3 and bring good from our hard places according to Genesis 50 verse 20. Nothing in our past is too big or too terrible for you according to Romans 8 verse 28. Help us to let go of the things that we need to let go of. Give us strength to stand and courage to believe. Help us to set our eyes, our heart and our mind on you and your promises. We look to the, this new month with great anticipation for all that you are doing and going to do. Let us be wise men and women who choose well and according to your word. Use us as vessels of hope and encouragement to others that they might also know of your infinite, deep and eternal love. We are forever grateful for all that you have given all of us to do this very day. We have anticipation that this new month you're going to do such a great thing. You're going to move mightily. You're going to bring down every chain that is holding us back. You're going to turn every setback into a greater comeback. We are believing Lord even as those partake of the three day fast this new month Lord I pray there shall be such chains that will be broken over their lives in the name of Jesus Christ no matter how we are feeling today this month is ours in the name of Jesus Christ we declare it right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ that the month of April is our month in the name of Jesus Christ Lord that we will overcome all things. You will provide for us where there has been lack. You will bring a supernatural provision to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are believing in greater things ahead. Lord, I pray that every single person that is listening to the utterance today may be blessed, that you may lead them, you may guide them, you may pour out your spirit upon them. Revive them today in the name of Jesus. Where there is sickness, Lord, we pray today that spirit of infirmity must come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon, every a bit of oppression over their lives, that demon must come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare today greater things are yet to come. Greater things are yet to come in their lives as you will perform your word. You will hasten to your word. You will perform it in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've been blessed by this utterance, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. You can go and follow us on Facebook or also on Instagram. And get ready because there is a three-day fast that's coming up this month that will be on the weekend of Easter but we're going to start it on Thursday Friday and Saturday so you'll finish it on Saturday so for all those that want to partake more information is about to come out as the Lord lays the prayer points upon my heart to release them over the next day or so so get ready for that I encourage you to be part of that because this is your month hallelujah this is your month the month of April is your month to fulfill and to see God's promises come about in your life. Hallelujah. So from my family to your, we bless you. Shalom, shalom, 
Shalom.